Yes. So, um, so then the journey to book number two was that I think in terms of cells and circuits, it's just how I've organized my brain and my life, and especially in the rebuilding of that circuitry. And to me, I lost the left brain. So I lost the left rational thinking me. She was gone. And I lost the pain from my past part of me, my emotional system. She died completely and had to be reborn in a new, you know, time. But I had this magnificent experiential character in the right here, right now of my right emotional tissue. And then I had this right thinking tissue that had me connected to all that is. And I was as big as the universe. And the fundamental difference between having a right brain and a left brain is the right brain is right here, right now in the present moment. The left brain comes online and defines with a holographic image of me, the individual. So then all the filtering of information for the left brain comes through the filter of me, the individual. And if people don't think there's a difference between me, the individual, and know me, the individual, then they've never had that experience. It doesn't mean it's not real. And you can actually ruin a group of cells in the left parietal region, and which creates a holographic image of my body of where I begin and where I end. You wipe those out and I have no perception of self as individual. And with that comes language and with language, a linearity of thinking and a part of linear thinking is I, I am, I am an individual. I am separate from the atoms and the molecules around me. You wipe that out. And I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but you become a part of the whole with no distinction of self. I did not know what a mother was, much less who my mother was. And this is pretty fundamental information. I have to have a left brain in order to create that information. So I was, I was, you know, living and breathing this concept of my two emotional systems and my two thinking brains. And I knew them very well because I lost two. I had to purposely use my right brain characters to set me up for success, to regain the skill sets of my left emotion tissue and my left thinking tissue. But what I realized was once they came back online, they had a personality and it was a strong personality in my character one rational thinking left tissue because she comes back on and she says, great to be back. I want to take over the brain again. I want to be the boss in here. And I'm looking at, we're all in here looking at her going, we are so glad you're back online because we need your skill sets and we love you. And thank goodness you're back. But no, you're not going to be the boss anymore. We're going to have a democracy inside of this head. And so that's what I created. I just created a way, a mode, a tool of communication between these four very distinctive characters. And I realized when I was giving a presentation, I was talking about how great it is to talk about the brain these days because people know terminology. They know about the amygdala and the hippocampus and the anterior cingulate gyrus. And it's all very exciting. But the fact of the matter is we have two amygdala. We have two hippocampi. We have two anterior singular gyrus and there was an audible gasp in the room and I realized that is what's wrong people think people think we have one emotional system no we don't we have two I I totally agree one in the present and what about me and my past and future and as soon as we can differentiate those emotions oh my gosh clarity comes in Mm -mm -mm, I agree